Many of the party's manifesto commitments will come as no surprise, given that they have been rolled out publicly over the last few weeks. In his foreword, the leader of the GSLP Liberals, Fabian Picardo, identifies education as a key feature of his party's manifesto and commits to more investment in teachers, learning support assistance and technical staff, as well as the nutrition of children in schools. But further into the manifesto, the GSLP Liberals reveal artists' impressions of their plans for new schools. Bayside School will be redesigned to make full use of the space available with full-size rugby and football pitches and the new gym. As part of the development, St Anne's School will be upgraded with modern and state-of-the-art facilities. Bishop Fitzgerald will move away from the old-style prefab construction into a modern purpose-built facility, with the children's play area, which includes two five-a-side football pitches, available to the community outside school hours. St Martin's School will be relocated closer to Notre Dame, which will also be expanded to cater for the additional number of children with special needs. In culture, the party has published its plans for a new theatre at the Queen's Hotel and Cinema site, which will house new premises for GBC and include television facilities. It also commits itself to a John McIntosh Hall extension and a new international film festival. The GSLP Liberals commit themselves to a full rollout of e-government platforms by the end of 2019. As part of the traffic and transport plan, the residential parking schemes will be slowly rolled out over the next four years, after an analysis of the way it has performed in the North District. The new manifesto will be distributed as from tomorrow.